talks. Let me first introduce you myself. My name is Sofia and I'm an Eritrean refugee and I live in Lancaster. So we're celebrating Refugee Week and that's why you see me wearing this Habesha traditional dress uh, that we all Eritrean women um, wear during uh, religious festivals and uh, wedding ceremonies. So in Eritrea, coffee is a ceremony. It is a ritual, a meaningful time to sit down with friends and family to chat. Um, it's a very important piece of culture because it's also an expression to respect the others and uh, a spiritual time to give thanks for the blessings of life. So all the preparations are made in front of the guests. So let's start. Okay, so we'll start with the ingredients. So here I have a mini uh, little stove uh, used with charcoal. This is my cash cash. You see, uh, I use this to roast the coffee beans and then mash the fat. It's a wooden mat where I'll put the roasted coffee beans. Um, this is the jibana. Um, it's a very delicate traditional uh, pot made out of uh, clay. And then I have the musk orbar. And this is used to, to pour coffee in if it starts to uh, sew over. And then a coffee grinder. And we have finjals. These are little cups, as you can see. And uh, what else? Okay, leaf. This is called leaf. It's a filter used to put on the top of the jibana once the coffee is ready to be served. Okay, and then obviously we have sugar. And uh, what else? Okay, and finally I have the fresh coffee beans. They're fresh, straight from Ethiopia. Okay, so let's move to the next step. Okay, so the first step is I'll put, I'll take some fresh coffee beans. Okay, so I'll put, I'll I get uh, three tablespoons of coffee beans and I put and then I'll place the makeshkas on the stove. I'll place it here and then I'll have to roast the coffee beans until they show a medium dark oily color. Mm, so I'll shake them for like about seven minutes. So now it's ready. Take a look. It's dark brown and I uh, have to pass it uh, to all the guests one by one and they'll have to taste the smell by wafting the smoke towards them like this. Okay. So now I'll sit back. I'll put them on the mushroom fat. It's here and I'll wait till they cool down. Okay, so now that they're cool, I'll put them in the coffee grinder. The next step is to put in the beans. Okay, so, Here are the Brian's coffee. I'll put them back on the shelf. I think this is enough. Yeah. It's a bit too much. Okay. Okay, so now 
I'll just have to hold them or shut up like this and put the coffee carefully inside the jibana. So now I'll pour some water slowly. That's enough for the first round. Okay. And then I have to mix the grinds coffee um, with the water. And then I'll let it, I'm gonna let it sit, let it on the stove. And uh, until, until I can see and hear hear it bubbling a little bit. Um, I can hear bubbles and uh, they're ready to come up. So now I'll pull the, that out. I'll pull that out. And then I'll have to pour, I'll just have to pour it back. And I'll, I'll have to repeat the process uh, for a couple of times. ready. I'll put the javana here down. Okay, so now I'll put the leaf, uh, the filter, on the top of the javana so it doesn't get cold. And I'll just wait just uh, for like two minutes. And in the meantime, I'll ask the guests how much sugar they want. Okay. So now I'll pour the coffee slowly. This is how I'll do it. perfectly um, the coffee for four um, little for four pin jars but you can do like four more so okay so this is the first one um, and uh, the coffee ceremony is accompanied with the hot fresh popcorn and it lasts for like uh, three rounds okay so once you have the first round, um, I have to add some more water. And again, mix it. And then I'll place it back on the stove. And then make the second round, which is less stronger than the first one. Okay, so yeah, and the third and final uh, one, um, of the third and final one, the guests are expected to say Bet Shishai, Bet Baraka, 
uh, which means uh, in that way they are like blessing the house and the family. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much and look at them.